I really thought it would be a good idea to resurrect my childhood by buying classical games. But guess what? It wasn't, definitely not. You might be wondering what I'm talking about. I just want to get this over with quickly. I have to hurry, he's coming soon. It was a fine spring morning. I was looking for a game online called Super Mario Brothers about two plumbers, Mario and Luigi, going on an adventure to save a beautiful princess, Peach, from a monstrous turtle dragon hybrid named Bowser. It received very good reviews, and I happen to be a big fan of it myself. Unfortunately, I don't have a working NES anymore. Luckily, I have an emulator, except I didn't have Super Mario Brothers. Rum. I looked on the internet, but I never found it. Can you copyright for taking them down? I was about to give up hope, except, when I found a full-on play on YouTube, I saw an ad labeled, Play Super Mario Brothers. Inline download free. I clicked it, since it was my possible last chance to get the game, and the website said that it had a download of the original Super Mario Brothers for PC. I found myself on a media fire link, with a file labeled install.exe. I downloaded the installer, then installed two files via the installer, the game, mario.exe, and a text file, readme.txt. I read the text file first, and it had pointless info about the game, but when I was about to close the page, I noticed a scroll bar going up and down, which exceeded the regular page height. At the true bottom of the page were these words. You want to play with Mario now, Harris? That really weirded me out, who was Mario, point eggs. Well, I figured it out when I played in ellipsis points. How I wish I could've taken that back. The game started out with the regular SMP1 title screen, except the two-player mode was taken out. This made it similar to the Lost Levels, which was one player only. I tried to choose Mario, but the game wouldn't let me, no matter how much I tried. Disappointed, I picked Luigi, but there was this one moment in which the title screen changed into something I now consider horrifying. The sky had darkened, the title block was now stained with blood, the sky was also a shade of red, players 1 and 2 were now labeled 1, immortal, and 2. You will die. The bushes and mountains were orange and in fire. The high score was God 5403. The HUD was all black, save for the coin label being white. Copyright 1985 Nintendo was now copyright 666 Nintendo. The world number was E0, and the time limit was labeled as Time Co. The freakiest thing, oh, was Mario himself. His eyes were replaced with two glowing red dots in black sockets, and he was in a darker contrast than usual. However, I shrugged this image off as a glitch and forgot about it. The game began with Luigi having five lives. Having overanalyzing games and let's plays for quite some time, don't ask. I knew you only had three lives at the start of SMP1. This was no glitch, this was a hacked game. Then again, it was in point X file, so this was a PC port of SMP1. Or so I thought ellipsis points. Luigi spun in world 1 to 1, except he was big already, and everyone knows that you literally start off small, when you start a 2D Mario game, right? Okay. Anyway, the level was normal, but there were no enemies to fight, or power-ups to collect. The blocks even acted as if nothing had happened. I also noticed the flagpole came earlier than usual, and the flag itself was smaller. I got a running start, but then, Luigi stopped in midair, it wasn't, until I saw why, Mario was on the other side of the screen, but his eyes ellipsis points they were black, with glowing red pupils, and his sprite was in a darker contrast than usual. He let out an evil laugh, and walked over to the castle, carrying a torch. He set the castle aflame, and all the toads came out, screaming and in fire. Suddenly, I screamed myself, as spikes began to fall from the top of the screen. A cartoony slow motion sound effect played, 
as I pressed shift to make Luigi run as fast as he could, and I was running at full tilt for 10 to 20 seconds, just holding down shift and the right arrow key, going as fast as possible. Suddenly I saw a pipe ahead. I didn't hesitate to enter it. As I did, a message appeared in the screen. Hello, Luigi. I want to play with you. The next level was an underground level, world 1 to 2, but not, as I expected it. It had decapitated toads, and the music was a very creepy ominous tune. As I kept going on the first stretch of ground, I saw Mario run atop the bricks above Luigi, at a very fast speed. I wondered, if he was really there or just a figment of Luigi's imagination. I shrugged it off and kept going. I made Luigi land in the next hall, and ahead was a mushroom, which was green. I didn't touch that Oh, Then I saw two of the same mushrooms, then four, then six, then eight. Oh, now you're playing games. I growled, as I fell down into the next hall ellipsis points and Luigi landed into a pit of six green shrooms. Instead of doing the regular death animation, Luigi grabbed his chest coughing and choking. He then hurled up by lying blood, before falling to his knees and dying realistically. A low-pitched version of the iconic death music played, and I groaned in defeat. Then I remembered something, Luigi had extra lives left. Four stock lives, to be exact. I was more careful this time, and I got past the pit of shrooms, and past more poison mushroom pyramids. Suddenly, before I landed in the next hall, Mario rushed up behind Luigi. I jumped, before Luigi could get hurt. Just as suddenly, spikes shot forward from the purple wall. I wasn't that skilled to evade the spikes, and it whittled my lives down to just two. It took a while, but at last, I made it past the spikes, thanks to a little glitch I found. However, I had one last challenge to face, and boy, it wasn't pretty. There was only one alive toad, its eyes closed, its back to Luigi. I touched it, and then a fill the meter event happened, after a scary jump scare. I screamed at it, like most jump scares, and when the fill the meter event came up, I pressed the F key as much as I could, before Luigi chopped the toad's head off. As it turned out, that toad was now evil thanks to Mario. Finally, the exit in sight. I cried with joy, as Luigi entered the next pipe. More text came no sooner Luigi had entered the pipe. That, which waits, for you, in the lock, will soon leave. This an ellipsis points. What the heck does that mean? I thought, as Luigi entered world 1 to 3, which was a nighttime athletic level. The music appeared to be some kind of distorted 8-bit theme in reverse. When Luigi moved, text would show up. Hello, Luigi. I want to play with you. Are you ready? Remember, Luigi, when you're in hell, only count in the devil. Don't you see? The devil wants to help you ellipsis points to your death. I jumped from tree to tree. The physics were a bit rough, and it took a while, but I finally got to a piece of regular land. I reached the castle, but instead of the flag, there was text saying. Look back. Look back at what? I turned Luigi back to the cliff, and there stood Mario and Peach. Mario looked back at Luigi, laughed evilly, and then he punched the crying princess off the cliff. She screamed in horror before hitting the ground and turning into a bloody mess. Mario then lunged at Luigi, chopping the plumber's head off. I yelped, then groaned in defeat, but then the text appeared in screen again. You're not finished yet. Four little words made me remember Luigi's last life. I went through the level again, but when Mario lunged at Luigi, I jumped over him. Mario just smirked before running off at his fast speed. I ran after him, but where the look back text was, there were these horrifying words. You're next. I entered the castle, and after getting jump scared by Mario's screaming face, text appeared once more. It has come your turn. Luigi. The castle level was the level name in the title screen, World E0. The music was a few creepy violins playing a deep bonding melody. 
I moved Luigi through the castle halls with pentagrams on the walls, and as he did, static started to flicker on my screen. It seemed like the pentagrams were changing, so it seemed like Mario was manipulating the level to the way he liked it. After a final static screen appeared, which was the longest, blood appeared in the great floors of the castle. I stopped Luigi in front of Mario, who stood at the end of the hall. I had Luigi run into Mario, but he just vanished into red gas. Suddenly, red clouds started coming at Luigi. The music was now a light, faint hissing. I tried to run away, but I just reached the beginning of the hall. I gave up and turned Luigi back going forwards. Thankfully, the clouds disappeared, but the worst was about to come. The drowning music from Sonic Colors began playing, as Mario then started chasing Luigi, but what disturbed me was his pose while chasing Luigi. I was horrified, Mario was not running, but actually flying. His flying sprite was made very similar to the full speed jump sprite from Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario World, only it was just SMP1 Mario and he had the scariest grin on his face, as though he was enjoying the torture he was giving his poor brother, as he gained in him. I reached the end of the hall, and just as the music ended, a loud splattering crunch was heard, as a blood stain appeared in the screen. After that it faded to black for a few seconds, before text appeared again. You're dead ellipsis points pathetic piece of meat ellipsis points. Then, a most unpleasant image appeared in my screen ellipsis points. It showed decapitated corpses of Luigi, Toad, Peach, and Bowser and Mario staring at the camera. Not a hyper-realistic Mario, but a regular 8-bit Mario, but with the bloody eyes, smiling evilly. He looked like he loved the torture he gave his friends. His face ellipsis points he had the most horrifying smile I had ever seen, even worse than his crazed face smile from the commercial for Mario Kart Super Circuit. And that's saying something, since I started this scroll game. There was a choir singing something that sounded like O Fortuna, and the setting seemed to be some kind of cave in Red Filter. There was also bloody text saying ellipsis points. Game over. I was looking at the image, when I realized it right then and there. This Mario wasn't the Mario I knew and loved in the games. This one a monster, an evil, sadistic monster that he had begun to kill everyone. He turned the Mushroom Kingdom into hell itself, and his final victim was his loved one ellipsis points. Luigi. Also, the game's name. Mario Dobbins was this murderer's name, too. I looked at the corpses and I cried a bit, they'd be forever tormented by that horrid plumber, and always will be. Just then, the screen went static, and three lines of Japanese appeared. Since I couldn't speak Japanese, I decided to write it down to translate later, but then the text suddenly flickered and turned to English moments later. It read. Maybe we can go to hell for what you didn't do. Maybe we'll go to hell for what you don't know. The end of the case will perhaps never come. The title screen returned, only it was the corrupted split second one, though there were some changes to it. The title now just read Mario, and the second option was glitched text, see relics and numbers. 1. Mario was also replaced with Red and Serp, which was press enter backwards. I wanted to shut the game off, but my whole body felt cold. I felt paralyzed, and curious. As it forced, I pressed enter. I wish I hadn't, but I had no other choice. When the game began, I couldn't help but be taken aback for who I was playing, as Mario himself. It was the normal plumber in his classic 8-bit glory. He was in a dark void, a light overlay of white noise in the foreground. The level title was World 6 to 6. I moved Mario through the void, but I could clearly see his expression get more worried. As he moved, I couldn't blame him. I was scared too. Suddenly, the background turned into a large, flickering, epileptic spike striped with pink, spinning in opposite directions. 
Mario now had a frown upon his face, just walking through the void in his ellipsis points this hell his evil double had created. Suddenly, Mario Dobbins appeared in front of the real Mario, as if by magic. Why you? Cried Mario, oh a text box. Hello, Mario. Smirked Mario Dobbins. Actually, he didn't have a text box, he actually spoke. His voice sounded cold, devilish. What have you done with my friends? Yelled Mario, again in a text box. Oh, I just ellipsis points murdered them. Cackled Mario Dobbins. No. No ellipsis points. Sobbed Mario, falling to his knees. I tried to move Mario, but he didn't move. Suddenly, Mario Dobbins stabbed his hand right through Mario's body, tearing out the guts inside. Mario was screaming and sobbing, coughing up blood. I couldn't stand to watch, so I covered my eyes like a wuss. When the screaming stopped, I removed my hands from my eyes. A black silhouette of Mario, but with the glowing red eyes, was now in the background. The dead Mario and Mario Dobbins were gone. The text being ellipsis points was on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. The game then closed by itself. To hell with that game. I actually shouted as I returned to my desktop. I deleted both files and emptied my recycling bin. I was pretty mad that Mario Dobbins killed my childhood idol. Later, I then tried looking online again. At last I found a Super Mario Brothers ROM. I didn't notice anything off, until I heard a voice from behind me, when I beat the first stage. Thank you so much for playing my game, Dave. I turned around slowly, and what I saw made me scream ellipsis points. There was the twisted, demented Mario Dobbins staring at me, a wide grin upon its face. He lunged at me, and then everything went black. Now I am to be trapped in a world which I can't escape. His world. I send this to warn you of his presence. If you download a game called Mario Dobbins, don't play it. He will get you, and then he will kill you too. Sorry, typed it fast, because he's here, NPW. Goodbye, reader. Thanks for reading a crow of Kirk with Beal Bakoto to just be with Gun Jotaf Psy Trux Dept Briot Pio for Sviest to Crog Trio Tort Bioch Rio 7,345,186,481 Oc 7,97,27,39,92,97. Just so you know, this isn't Dave. Don't worry about him. He is now mine. Dave is now dead. I killed him. I also killed my brother, and all my other friends. Guess what? You're next. Mario. The end ellipsis points.